things are getting very serious. Very, very serious. As we are heading towards the final election date. November 5th, 2024. And God's intervention in this election is becoming very evident with each passing day. I want to tell you today that something similar happened to me last night. On October 27th, when I was in prayer. I usually pray at night because I believe this is the best time to pray. As our hearts are often full of emotions by the end of the day. So as always, I was in my routine prayer. And suddenly I felt the presence of God filling my space. I got immediate goosebumps and I felt a mixed sensation of warmth and coldness. I knew something unusual was about to happen again. And this time, Jesus spoke to me. He asked me to write down his word because it is the last chance for the people of America. Now I want to share with you everything that I have written down. But before that, allow me to ask the Holy Spirit that these words of the Lord may reach those who need to hear them. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would land upon every person right now. I ask you not to leave. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to fall upon every person who is reading this, that the weight of your glory, your presence, would fall and rest. I ask that in the same way you fell upon Jesus Christ, you would fall upon us, removing all confusion and every spirit of doubt within our hearts and renewing us to receive the words of the Lord with complete attention. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Now let me read whatever I have written down. Jesus said to me, Beloved, hear me clearly. Time is no longer on your side. This is your last chance to awaken, to cast off the distractions and deceit, and to seek true righteousness. America, my heart aches for you, and I have called you, I have pleaded with you, I have extended my hand countless times. But how many of you have truly listened? How many of you have turned away from the things that poison your soul? Do you think you can serve me and still hold on to the comforts of sin and complacency? I warn everyone, wake up and take a decision now. I say to you again, wake up and take a decision. For I have saved my David again and again, placed him where he is for a purpose, far beyond what most understand. He has faced trials and opposition that would shake even the strongest. And I have preserved him, not for his sake alone, but for the destiny of this nation. Yet, this nation, yes, many of you, still question, still mock, still fail to see my plans unfolding. I say to you now, do not wait until regret fills your heart and it is too late to act. The signs are here. The warnings are clear. I am giving you a choice, but my will shall be done, regardless of who stands 
or false. So I ask, where do you stand? Whose side are you on? When I heard these words from the Lord, I immediately answered that I am with you, Jesus Christ. I am following you with complete devotion and complete faith. And the Lord continued to speak to me. He said, Tell the people of America, I am moving. I am moving boldly and I will flip the enemy's plan. The tables are turning where the enemies had control over my church to my church having control over it, where it was always meant to be. The influence it always was meant to have. But first, I am turning the tables in the body of Christ with church leaders and ministry leaders whose hurts are not fixed on me, but to benefit from themselves, who have betrayed their congregations and their followers. I will reveal the ones who were never called by me. I will reveal the wolves in the church that were trying to devour it. I will show you leaders of ministries that were being led by the enemy and not by me. I will show you big names that will shock you and that they were not of me at all. I have revealed and I will reveal again. For nothing is beyond my reach. I am calling those who are mine to stand boldly. To forsake all lukewarm ways and to become the fiery witnesses I have called them to be. For a lukewarm hurt will not withstand what is coming. Only those whose hurts burn with fervor for me will endure, saith the Son of God. So these were the words Jesus asked me to write down and share with everyone, especially with the people of America. So child of God, I would like to ask you now, can you perceive why Jesus gave us a huge instruction to wake up and take a decision now? Because this is truly a now or never time. If we still don't seek righteousness, if we still don't fight for the teachings of God, we will help the enemy to win over our lives. Jesus didn't speak these words lightly. He is calling us to action. To step up and make a choice that aligns with His will. The coming election is about more than politics. It is a defining moment for our nation's soul. Each one of us has a responsibility to stand for righteousness and truth, to be the light in the darkness that surrounds us. Jesus made it clear. Our vote isn't just a right. It is a weapon, a way to fight against the enemy's agenda in our nation. Voting is a physical action, a statement in the natural world that we are standing with God's truth and our prayers are a spiritual weapon, fortifying us for the storms and the trials ahead. We cannot wield one without the other because both are crucial in these end times. Do you see the urgency? The enemy won't sit quietly while we align ourselves with God's will. He will try every trick, every deception to distract, discourage and mislead. We are not just facing a political battle because this is a spiritual one. And just as Jesus called us to pray without ceasing, He is also calling us to act, to stand boldly, to vote for what is right and to resist the tide of evil that threatens to engulf a nation. We are on the front lines. 
whether we realize it or not. Each decision we make, each action we take, is either drawing us closer to God or away from Him. Things are becoming more obvious with each passing day. The lines are drawn and the choice before us is clear. Will we stand for God or will we allow the enemy to influence our decisions? The Lord has laid out our path. He has shown us the need to rise, to take action, to pray and to vote in alignment with His heart. This is not just about a temporary victory, but about standing in agreement with God's eternal purpose. So I urge you, seek God's guidance. Let His word be your compass and act. Don't let this moment slip by without taking a stand for what is right. Let us rally together in prayer, lift up our voices in faith and vote with conviction. Our choice, our prayers, and our action matters. We are the people of God, called to shine His light, to stand for His truth, and to protect the legacy of His teachings. Child of God, stand with God, choose wisely, and know that He is with us as we walk forward in faith. For now, at this moment, I would like to ask you to join our hands together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, recognizing the urgency of this moment. Lord, we hear your call to action, to rise up and take a stand for your truth. You have placed us here for such a time as this, and we do not take this responsibility lightly. You have shown us that our choices matter, that our actions carry weight, and that our prayers are powerful. Help us to fully grasp the significance of this season and to respond with faith and courage. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your clear and urgent word to us. We recognize that our nation is at a crossroad and the choices we make now will shape our future. We ask for your guidance as we step forward to vote, to stand and to pray. Let your Spirit direct our paths so we do not stray to the left or the right, but keep our eyes fixed firmly on you. May our hearts be aligned with your will, and may our actions reflect your righteousness. Father, we know that the enemy will not sit silently and we are aware that the spiritual forces are at work already to deceive and mislead. So we pray for discernment and wisdom to see through every lie, every distraction and every scheme that seeks to draw us away from your truth. Arm us with your word, sharpen our minds and strengthen our spirits so we can stand firm in the face of opposition. We ask that you place a hedge of protection around us, around our families, and around this nation as we step out in faith. Holy Spirit, fall afresh upon us. Let your presence fill our hearts and homes. Guide each of us to vote with conviction, to pray with fervor, and to stand with boldness. May our prayers be like incense rising to your throne, interceding for our nation, our leaders, and our people. We pray for an awakening across this land, that people's hearts will be stirred to seek righteousness and truth. Lord, revive us so we may be a light in the darkness, pointing others to you. We pray for unity among believers that your church would stand as one in this critical hour. Let us not be swayed by fear or division, but let us come together in prayer and action, bound by our faith in you. May our words be a declaration of allegiance to your kingdom. 
May our prayers become a shield against the attacks of the enemy. Lord, we commit this election, our leaders, and this entire nation into your hands. We ask that your will be done, that righteousness would prevail, and that your name would be glorified. Guide us, protect us, and lead us as we move forward, step by step, into the future you have prepared. In all things, we seek to honor you and to stand for what is true. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.